Hello everyone, today we have another video review and this time we have a chance to check new kit from Miniart. As you can see, this is a plastic molded in 35 scale as it's written here and it copies US armored bulldozer, um, which is part of the World War II military miniatures series. And this kit is actually, I would say, related to the previous uh, US bulldozer released by the Miniart. But this time we have its armored version of course and here we have a short list of the features which are included in this kit. So there are 600, ah, 767 parts, 2 clear plastic parts and 8 photoaged parts. Decals of course are included. As you can see box itself is quite big, here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, on the side there is some safety information. And here we have 3D renders of the assembled kit uh, and you should know, I mean you will see how the model looks like in assembled state. So this is a top opening box, just give me a second to open it, it's a bit tight fit. Okay, so here we are. As you can see all screws are packed into the same plastic bag. On the bottom we have assembly manual. So let's start from the assembly manual. Uh, this is a typical brochure for the mini art. Uh, here we have a short list of the features included into this kit. Then there is a parts map and assembly process starts. As you can see, model will have detailed engine, suspension, some mechanical parts. I mean, it's all typical for the mini art and it's quite nice features. I mean, you can play with weathering, with some wreckages or something else. I mean, it might be even useful for the diorama. On the last pages we can find uh, marking options. Here is one and here is non extra. So you will have to, I would say, improvise. And here you can see all related versions of the uh, series of US tractors as it's written here. And we are currently reviewing this one. Just a reminder. Okay, now we can move to the plastic spruce. I would say that they are packed in a quite tight fashion. I will need a scissors in order to cut them. Just give me a second. Actually, I would recommend to check the plastic frames before the purchase because some parts are really tiny and it's better to be sure that you get everything intact so that you won't get a unpleasant surprise later. Okay, so we are ready for the opening the plastic bag. Now we just remove the plastic screws out of the screw. Okay, so let's start from this one. I think this one copies the external panels for the tractor. As you can see they are molded as one piece parts. Inside there is almost nothing. There are small position pins which might be useful for the proper alignment. And that's pretty much all for this part. Now I need a second to remove all plastic screws out of the back. It's a bit tricky task. But we will make it. Okay. So, uh, here we have two similar plastic sprues which are dedicated to suspension elements, so I will show you only one. Here it is. We have here the drive sprocket. Uh, we have some uh, suspension elements, for example springs and some minor parts for the external detailing. As you can see, molding quality is quite nice. Attachment points are thin enough uh, so that you won't damage the parts during the separation. Next we have more of the suspension parts but we will check them a bit later. Now we can check this big sprue which should come handy for the armor replication on your model because those separate panels actually copy all external armor which is mounted on the bulldozer. As you can see molding quality is on the same level and I hope uh, assembly will be easy because you will have to align them all together. 
Uh, here is another small plastic sprue with some small parts for the external detailing. Next we have one more plastic sprue with some external parts. As you saw in the assembly manual we have some minor parts for the I would say technical components of the bulldozer. Here you can see some cables and those are replicated I would say in a nice fashion but they will require deep care because they are really um, fragile and you can I would say break them with some uncareful moves. Uh, here we have more parts for the technical elements as you can see the sprue is quite large but I think it won't be a problem to cut off each part and glue them together here we have some of the large panels uh, I think this one is a front grille uh, then we have some external elements for the um, cap and for the main hull Another plastic sprue is full with various frame parts. As you can see, those are quite large, so it should be easy to handle them and to glue them together. Next, we have four small sprues with different minor parts. And here we have on the last big sprue, here we have engine parts, actually here is the front grille and again more of the engine parts which should be used for the extra detailing. And also here you can see the seat part. I think detailed engines should become a, I would say, original feature of the mini art because almost in every kit which is released by this company we can find a detailed engine of the vehicle. Next we have uh, some of the suspension parts. Those are absolutely similar so I will show you only several sprues. Okay so here we have some of the minor parts. Next we have more of those. Some of the suspension parts. Uh, next we have transparent part packed together with uh, PE fret and decal sheet. Just give me a second to open them. So of course transparent parts will replicate the uh, headlamps. Here you can see them. Molding quality is quite nice so no complaints at all. Some minor PE parts should be used for the external detailing and also for some interior parts. And also the decal sheet is typical for the mini art. I'm not sure how it will be in application but as you can see printing quality is good. Next we have, just give me a second, one large sprue. I mean it's not large but it's wide. Uh, and there are several of those included into the kit. As you saw, they were packed into the separate plastic bag. Why? Because they copy the track links. Yes, this model features the separate track links and it's quite a nice feature. We should make it easier to weather and to paint those parts on your model. So that's all for the video review, that's pretty much all parts we covered in the video. Uh, of course I will invite you to check full review article on our website where you will find detailed photos and also the text in English and Russian. Don't forget to like this video if you like it, uh, just press the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all fresh articles uh, and videos on time. Also in the description below you can see the link to our Facebook group where you will find all fresh news on time so just like it and follow us on the Facebook. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!